see them doing this. I see them looking around a lot. And then trying to hurry up, like this car, trying to hurry up and speed. I can see them doing it. They have cameras. The police refuse them to investigate. Harassment is criminal. So notice how these locations are there. Ready, waiting on me for crimes. Like the health and human health. I just wanted to go come in, ma'am. Oh, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I just wanted to come in. Am I able to excuse me, uh, get by, ma'am? Am I able to get by? Okay, thank you. happening some kind of way oh I, I never mind did you skip me sir when I was in line did you skip me did you skip me are you in line or are you trying to get in line for a customer service with nothing with no return well I'm putting I load my car oh okay I didn't know if you skipped me am I able to get service yeah who's next okay okay I just want to return hey go ahead load your card sir See, this is why I didn't want him holding up the line. Huh. And I said, holding up the line now. He just said he needs to load his card. <laughs> wanted to return this. It didn't work. Okay. Did you order this online? No. I got it in the store. You have your receipt? No. Yeah. I can't find it. You can pay with a debit card? I do. You have the debit card with you? I do. Can you insert it for me? Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. You can remove it. This didn't work? No. You want cash? Um, you can give me cash or put it on the card, whichever one. I put it on the card, it takes 72 hours. Okay, you can give me cash. Okay. I, I paid $18 for that. Is that what you're getting out? Yes. Oh, okay. I thought I saw the five. He just, they have cameras. He, why'd you come in front of me, sir, on purpose? Why'd you come in front of me on purpose? It happens that it's a routine, repetitive pattern. They have cameras. Why'd you do that with your child in the car? Like I've experienced a multitude of people doing that. Harassment is criminal. Some kind of way I can't get an investigation for all these crimes for years that are caught on camera footage. So now they try to scam to enforce the crimes. They don't want me to make purchases like they've been scheming years. So they have to radio in that I recorded their abuse and then scheme to deprive me of services like they've done years when I wasn't recording. So they somehow forget that their store crimes being committed in their store, and then want to hold me responsible for recording. What a lot of other a lot of other citizens have rights to record, make TikTok videos, YouTube videos, but some kind of way, me exposing criminal activity is you know something that's not acceptable. You can see these people committing these crimes openly. They just refuse investigation. Harassment is a crime. It's criminal. Why aren't people getting their charges? I should not be terrorized every single day like this everywhere I go. It's cr a crime. For years, this chaos has been addressed for years with no consequences every single place I go. So the government continues to defraud people out of funds. Who Lord knows who else they defrauded out of funds. Entice stores and other parties to conspire with their crimes. We abuse power, police, other government officials. Entice other conspirators to enforce their criminal activity. And target and terrorize government witnesses with no consequences. 
caught on camera footage years that no one has done anything with. In fact, have bullied me, violated me, threatened me, mistreated me, and deprived me of purchase in these schemes. Any particular, oh, okay, you got out the way this time. She came to the left and then got out the way. They would all block my path in the past if my tablet wasn't up and then enforce crimes and blame me for it. So by the time you get through all this, you forget what you came to the store for. And it's not safe to shop with no with jail sentence, no consequences. You whooped around that corner so quick, <laughs> like it was on purpose. I'm not able to get through your baskets in the way, ma'am. Like a multitude of other baskets. Then they're blocking the aisle, have it diagonally like it's on purpose. And then over here, it makes it so hard to shop. How do I get through all the, it's like an obstacle course for years. <laughs> Ma'am, can I get through safely? I had to be escorted out of another Walmart. It was so bad when my phone stopped recording. I had to actually be escorted out. Let's see what she's putting in. Huh, I was trying to see what she was talking. This lady whipped around here real quick. Harassment is criminal. here. Is she skipping? Like they keep doing? Oh, okay. I guess she's with someone. She's not skipping. Hello. How you doing, sweetie? Yeah, you again. You again. Waiting here. You waiting on someone? So there's people that enlist these people to commit these crimes. So they go in like the guy with the backpack. And I don't know if they're giving them 10, $15 to terrorize government witnesses, torture them. We especially, you think it, it was, oh my goodness, when I wasn't recording, they'd scheme so I couldn't purchase, degrade me, follow me, just like the guy with the backpack. So I would go to store to store and experience this multiple times a day, even at convenience stores. So I knew if someone was capable of doing, causing all this damage, that was not safe. They, he, in his mentally Ill, mental illness, he actually thought he was going to give me a criminal trespass and deprive me of services everywhere I went and was doing it. So I would go place to place to place and could get service even at convenience stores, like I stated. Health and Human Services and uh, domestic violence organizations, no place would help me. So when I realized that, I absolutely thought the COVID was, he did it. I did because I didn't have services and then no one did. And then when I reported all his crimes, no one had services. It looked like, I mean, they schemed to deprive me of my services. How did I know that they weren't scheming to deprive everyone of their services? So anyway, you see how it got crowded? I'm just here. They, they wait to do this, a multitude of parties. It's not that crowded every day. They wait. And then I have to wait till their games are over. You can see them parking with their lights on. And then they wait. And then when it's someone that has value, they stop. I'll see how they stop. They taunted me. They stopped and then went out with, um, when he, when I started to move forward, they went ahead and moved forward. 
so they would come out at me like this car you're supposed to yield to pedestrians not keep going yield so no one can see now as they haven't before so i have to have my phone up to be safe and still a lot of times then i still don't feel safe even with my phone up so i'm just walking down with the basket they get over on my side a lot he didn't do it this time I don't know when the last time I felt safe was. I just have to, you know, endure it, endure this feeling every single day of not knowing what the future holds, never feeling safe. And it's tolerated for years. You know, the government's abuse, all locations at church, they all tolerate it. And you know what? I do, you know, harp on this a lot, but I mean, where, where are the results? I can't believe this is reality. You know, I mean, it's hard to believe that, that we, this is what we got to. This is where we are at 2022. Uh, I think you're the one that interrupted me speaking with the police. Trying to report a murder, a hit and run in my head. Me being hit. I think we have more than eight. I think it's 10. Okay, is Martha in? Okay, thank you. The one I called and did a complaint about. Were you the one that interrupted me speaking with the police, sir? Trying to report my daughter's abuse and my abuse? I never got a call. He tried to interrupt me speaking with the police, trying to report a murder, my, my daughter's abuse and my abuse. And bullied me and told me I was loitering, and I told him I, he saw me speaking with the police. Is that normal procedure when someone's trying to get up to a police report and protect their lives? Okay. Um. Yeah, but it, I, can I not be mistreated by security? Because I mean that I have a lot. Of, you know that I'm here on a domestic violence crisis, and for him to mistreat me when I was trying to report my daughter's abuse and mine is that acceptable? I'll wait till the I'll wait till because you know I'm in a crisis I'm here on that and I don't know why security would deprive me of my right to report it it's the use that I still experience every day when you get security because when I first when I first came in, the security wasn't here. Oh, so I guess when I first came here, you didn't have security, and then when you switched over, you got security. Okay. Security, I was reporting a murder, and my abuse and my daughter's abuse, and he bullied me and threatened me of loitering when I was trying to speak with the police and get law enforcement, because they deprived me of it for years. But anyway, I can't get any assistance to escape the government's abuse. They seen what my job is probably working at my job. Mm -hmm. So do you have any avenues that you can assist and would um, pay, you know, any avenues before I can um, get assistance for uh, rent? You can try the DHA. Oh, I thought you had, they told me that you could help. Um, do you live here? Yeah. What apartment do you live in? It is. I don't understand why security they just it's like they intimidate poor people and certain types of people to commit crime. You know, they need to be held accountable. Because I've had police and security and all kinds of parties can entice people to commit crimes with them and enforce abuse. That's correct. So, are you going to be needing assistance? Well, I just work. Can you tell me how it works? I'm not able to. I don't have rights like normal other human beings. I've tried to log in. I'm blacklisted from using those sites. She tried to help me. I can't use that login. Maybe you can assist me with the issues I'm having online. I told her she's tried to help me, the other representatives, and I can't log in, as well as a multitude of other locations. So you can't go into the Dallas Police Program? Oh, I thought you meant for your company. Okay, so what do you do here? Uh, you're wanting assistance for, for your rent, right? Right, or like uh, so referral. Uh, you can go into the Dallas Rent Relief and sign up there. Okay. Okay. And what do they do? They help you with your rent. Okay, how do they help? 
um, if you have a passing balance, that's what I'm saying. Do you, are you going to need it for next month? Um, I'm not quite sure. I'm right like, now, the, it's zero is there a particular reason why you're standing over her like that? I mean, that's kind of intimidating for both me and her. With your gun and everything like that, you you, you guys were sitting with other people and you like intimidating the staff yeah, standing up. Oh. Why would you be rude? Well, I mean, that's their job. Well, I mean, they're standing and it's like they're intimidating. You know, I don't I feel safe because if one of them I already cover for a murder. I just. I don't know why you bully me, sir. I'm in a domestic violence crisis. Okay. Just ask you why questions. is there any particular reason why security bullied me, reporting a murder and child abuse and um, mob abuse? That I my calls haven't been returned. Because you guys know I'm in here in a domestic violence crisis situation. I don't know why security would cover for it. What security is right here, this man right here told me I was lettering and bullied me when I was afraid, terrified for my life, and I'm here on domestic violence. I was paying for a rent, but you guys are aware that I'm afraid for my life. I told you that at move in. Oh, I'm just saying the apartment complex. I'm just, I mean, my life, my life is pretty extreme, ma'am. You got to see it to believe it. It's like a horror movie with nothing resolved. I can assist you with the rent part, but I mean, that's the only thing I can give you. Well, then, that's, that's still good. So, if you're more than welcome to come to Okay, thank you. Thank you. How long is that good for? How long will do they assist with the rent? I'm not sure. How long will it will help you? Okay. You don't have to wait until they What's the max that you've ever heard? Huh? How what's the max you've ever heard? Probably mm -hmm. about maybe six months. Oh well that's good. Maybe three, six and maybe twelve, depending on the situation that you're in. Okay, well, I'm in a domestic violence crisis that involves the government, so I think that that's pretty extreme. But people dropping off bullies at every location to violate me, even at our calling security, McDonald's. Are you talking about our security? I, at every location. I've had McDonald's, I've had security. Your security intimidated me, bullied me, trying to report someone that got murdered in my family, my daughter's abuse, my son had a hit and run. This man right here told me I was loitering, trying to be desperate for my life. And I called and left a message, you know, because I didn't feel that it was okay for him to be bullying me in a crisis. And I didn't get my car returned. So it's a multitude of security at a, a multitude of locations that bully me and terrorize me. And I don't understand why all these services all over the place keep getting denied and people, you know, mistreat me at a multitude of locations. It may have something to do with the police department and the mysterious security that I keep coming in contact with. Is that normal for security to cover for some a murder, child abuse, and my abuse? Is that normal for security to interrupt me reporting a murder that was in my family, my abuse, and child abuse? Do you condone security behaving in that manner? Well, that's what security did. And they bullied me at a multitude of other locations. Okay. And I couldn't get to the bottom of the machine at these locations. I don't, I don't know how long you've had yours, but my life is pretty abnormal because they, my, the places that I frequent would add their own security to enforce crime. You got to see it to believe it.
So what do I do with this that you're printing out? That's your, it's your lead and your ledger. Okay. Well, I hope they give me services, ma'am, because I've been having a hard time getting services for years. So I contact them online and they call me, or can I go in person? You do it online. Oh, okay. Have a good day. I won't be here tomorrow. How long does it take? So, how long is it? You see, my lease is about to expire, right? So, will, when, will that help the issue when I um, speak with them? I mean, you guys, when they help assist me, what happens when my lease expires? Yes, I can renew it, but, you know, okay. Well, I sure hope they help. Have you ever heard of them turning down anyone? <laughs> I'm not in town. I'm in so I'm not sure who, you know, there's a lot of people that signed up for it. So I haven't had a response yet. So I'm not sure who, if anybody is in denial. Okay, so to your knowledge, you have a, you have, at this point, have had, have you ever had anyone denied at this point? At this point, no. Okay, well, I don't have civil rights, so let's see how it goes. I'm just curious the layout of the room. Okay. Say if it's state protective services. Would you grab uh, Black Lives Matter?